What's up? Dank hyphen community. Yes, it, it has been a little bit of a um, a boring week this week, unfortunately, because of celebrating Christmas and being a bit lazy. But hopefully next week will be a bit better and we'll be uploading a little bit more since my off- upload schedule's been a bit off right now. But anyways, I have a slightly bit more interesting video for you today. Um, I'm actually going to have a little tour around the gaming area because I have more than just an Nintendo Switch and a bunch of phone games on here. So let's get started with the handhelds. So all the handhelds are in this box. But somehow, um, all the handhelds I own are actually made by Nintendo. So here's the um, new 2DS XL. Just flip up to reveal. There we go. A DS Lite. We also have Game Boy Color. Game Boy Advance. And um, a 3DS. Yeah, so those are the two. Um, no, I mean five handheld game. Handheld game couples are also holding this random thing in there, which has nothing to do with the handhelds. We've also, we've also got a bunch of 3DS, we've got DS titles, and we've got some Game Boy titles in it as well. So yeah, those are all the um, handhelds that I have. In this box down here, we have um, all sorts of accessories for the gaming, such as control and left over controls and cords, mostly from um, our Xbox and PS1. Um, we do have a PS1, but we don't have the original one. We have some small ones. What you can you see is about part of the controller, sorry it's a little bit dark, but there you go. And yep, yeah, it's also got a Wii, that Wii controller. And yeah, it's got also got all sorts of cords, and also got a little bit of old phones as well. Here's where we use steam wheels to in our Nintendo Switch, and we also got Nintendo Labo, some random Nerf gun, and controllers with for the Wii with um, a steam wheel. Now we got the main area itself. First things first, we got um, two string wheels, which are the, basically the same make and model. Um, here is a string wheel for the Xbox 360, another one for the PS4. Some random headsets and tether remote from there. Okay, first things first, um, let's. Here is actually the main area. So, first things first, here is. Um, the actual original Xbox itself. Yes, I do own an original Xbox. It's bad boy, big bad boy, and we also got Xbox 360 controllers. Down here, I would like to call the Nintendo row the, the Wii U console up here. We got Wii U gamepad and the Nintendo Switch. On this row, we have the Xbox and Nintendo area. We have the Xbox and Xbox 360E and the Wii U console as well. As some random Xbox 360 and finally we have um, the very modern PlayStation row my we used to be up here we got a PS3 slim and a um, another PS4 slim which I recently got for one of the things I got for Christmas it's actually pretty amazing ma- amazing graphics man and so and it's so like slimmer than the PS3 itself. And those are the controls, so we'll do a little bit more about that in a moment. Got all five PS4 games I have Call of Duty World War 2, Infinity Warfare, The Crew 2, FIFA 20, and um, F1 2019. Also, also some, a bunch of other random games. PS3 Dot. And behind you is a sad old little Atari flashback. I haven't actually used for quite a bit, but probably use those soon. So yeah, um, and also uh, we have a big LG TV as well. So here are the consoles in numbers. We have um, 
one fifth generation console, which is the, which is the PS1, which is made in the sixth generation anyways. Um, um, three sixth generation consoles, which are Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, and um, a Xbox, the original Xbox. Sorry, I got a bit stuck. Um, we got um, we got about actually four seventh generation consoles. We got a DS Lite um, and the Wii, which I don't really use because I transferred all the data to a Wii U, and um, PS3 Slim and an Xbox 360 E. And we also got um, about actually five seventh generation consoles: um, a 3DS, um, a 2DS XL, a PS4 Slim. Um, a Wii U and a Nintendo Switch. Other consoles is we have an Atari Flashback 8 Gold which can play second generation games which is crazy and it's also pretty much shows you how far back we can do. One more thing, a quick comparison from the um, PS3 and PS4. So the PS3 is basically slightly bigger and it's released, this model's, well PS3 was released in 2006. This particular model was released in 2009 while the PS well the PS4 was released in 2013 and this particular model was probably released in about 2017 I got mine this Christmas and yes uh, it's pretty crazy how slim this and much lighter this console actually is we have got like a bigger one though and so all to, and other things all together we have about one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen PS4 games. No, PS3 games, so sorry about that. And we have um, five PS4 games. Okay. Finally, a comparison between the PS3 controller and the PS4 controller. There is pretty much a lot of different differences with. Um, these two controllers. One of them, one of them, um, one of these controllers actually um, presses actually really well, while the other one is a, a bit less pushy. And um, the analog sticks are pretty good, but the PS4 is a bit slightly better. I mean, it has a bit less. The analog sticks are a bit smaller than the um, PS3s, which is fine. And so are the buttons are actually slightly, and the D-pad are actually slightly bigger than the PS3s. On the back, the um, triggers have surely have changed, and somehow one of the triggers are actually kind of broken on the other side. But yeah, and the start select buttons are actually kind of replaced by this share and options button, and you can actually plug your headphones in on the back while you while you can't on the other PS3 controller. Both of them support um, micro USB things. And the lights and the player lights are a bit different. On the PS4 you get um, a blue light for player one, red light for player two, green light for player three and pink light for player four. So just this touch pad light bar as well. Um, so yeah, the touch pad is, replaces the Sony logo and the speaker there. And um, yes, the, and yes, instead, um, the player lights are just the standard player lights. So number one is here, and the PlayStation button is kind of clear on the PS3 controller, while the PS4 controller is has not a clear button. So I think it's slightly a bit small. But there you go. Here is um, the PS4 um, for. for the last time, and yeah, it's, I think the PS4 controller is a bit better because it's more modern than it's. I think it's slightly taller than the PS3 controller. Alright, that's the end of the cameras. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on for to stay up to date, click on the left side, and on the right side, you can see my previous videos, not those boring ones of this week, but previous previous months or weeks and i will see you in the um next video sorry for a bit of a boring week but there you go we'll be better next week bye